call it a reboot for an ancient institution. The 2,000-year-old Catholic church currently has a patron saint of animals, children and even lost causes. Now it's one step closer to naming a patron saint of the internet. Carlo Acutis, born here in London, was a teenage computer whiz. He tragically lost his life in 2006 to leukaemia, aged just 15. He was very normal, but with a special uh, spiritual life. And uh, uh, he's very, very well known because of his, uh, um, his special uh, gift on uh, internet, on a computer. Online, Acutis used those gifts to create a website cataloguing miracles around the world. And offline, his illness didn't stop him helping hundreds of people. When he contracted leukaemia at age 15, his faith helped him to see his suffering differently. When he was confronted with various challenges, he saw people at school being bullied, he saw homeless people needing to be fed. The Vatican says a person must pass five stages to become a saint. It can take hundreds of years. After a five-year reflection, a bishop is appointed to investigate. The Pope declares the candidate a person of heroic virtue. Two miracles must then be proven. The first for Acutis. 2013, a Brazilian boy is said to have been cured of a rare disease after Acutis prayed for him, leading to beatification. He'll need proof of one more for the last step, canonization, and Acutis declared holy. The Catholic Church counts around 10,000 saints, but far fewer when it comes to child saints. And Carlo's canonization could be seen as an effort to attract new, younger followers and change with the times. Last year, the Catholic Church launched an app for the smartphone, a set of digital rosary beads. Now it could be set to celebrate a patron saint of the internet. Pater et filius et spiritus in fact, the Pope has called the internet a gift from God, and he's using it to spread his message. Millions of followers on Twitter and Instagram. Masses streamed online during lockdown. There is a technological revolution that's happened within the church, and so the church will never be the same again after this virus, much like the rest of the world. Coronavirus has delayed Acutis' beatification. It'll now take place in Assisi, Italy, in October. But fittingly, the tomb where his body lies is already live-streaming 24 hours a day. A virtual shrine for a saint of a new generation. Helena Humphrey, NBC News, London. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.